Hi guys. So this one is all about aquaponics. So aquaponic 101. The reason I'm doing this is because I see a lot of uh, you know a post on aquaponic system and people make it so hard, so complex. Um, my goal is to let you guys know that aquaponic system is easy, um, really easy. So you want to make it simple, make it dumb, and make it as less work to you as possible. So we will, we go through the whole things, okay? We go through we go through the pumps, we go through the whole system, we go through the pipe work, and we go through them all. So first thing first, my pumps. The, this system run through using a, a eight hundred gallon pump, and it's twenty five watts per hour pump. It's on for fifteen minutes and off for 15 minutes. So it turned on for 15 and turned off for 15. The reason I do this is because in my aquaponic system, my grow beds, they, I don't use any bell siphon. So no bell siphon in the system. The reason is bell siphon make it really hard and you have to tweak with it. While this system here, 15 on, 15 off, and then the 15 off, it will drain back into the sump pump. So let's imagine this here, okay? So this is my standpipe. They all, every bed will have a standpipe right in the uh, mi uh, middle. And that standpipe will drain into um, uh, the sump pump right here. And so, so it's just imagine, right? The standpipe is like this, okay? And then I have a hole that I'll drill right here. And it's like the size of my uh, pinky. So I drill a hole right here, okay? So whenever the pump is on, the water will rise, okay, and then it, it will stop right here because it will flow over to here, okay? And then when it stops, this small pipe here, small hole here, will drain this bed down to where the hole is at. So 15 on, 15 off. So we got it, 15 on, 15 off, a small hole right here. 15 on, rise, 15 off, we'll go down. Okay, so we move, we move on. All this here are one inch pipe. Simple, easy one inch pipe. The grow bed though, in here, the grow beds are actually cement mixer. Um, the reason I like the cement mixer is because they're easy to deal with. Um, you buy them, you drill a hole right here in the mi uh, middle and you're done. You have to cut them, drill them, anything. You just have one hole in the middle. Put in your one inch pipe, drill the hole right here, and you're done. And it's, you know, it's not, it's not that expensive too. And this one has been, I've been using this bed for about eight years now. And so the last for a long time, um, you see a small crack right there. That's what happened with eight years. The sun beat down to it and eventually it will crack. But it's been eight years for this, for this grow bed here, and I love it. Um, for aquaponic system, you don't need really deep wise as you can tell this bed here is only about six inch deep that's all you need you don't need anything deeper than that so the bed here or cement mixer bed the sump pump here or those um, 250 gallon IBC tote where you cut in half and then you have two sump okay and then you also I have the main sump tank which is right here and then eventually when I when you pump up here, the water will go up, it go to each each bed, and then it drain into a sump the sump tank, and then eventually the sump tank will lead back into the main sump tank. Simple. So this whole system only consumes about 12.5 watts because if you really think about it, this pipe, this pump here is only on for 15 on and 15 off. It's not on the whole, you know, the whole time. So 15 on, 15. So you can run, you can make this whole aquaponic system using only 12.5 watts per hour. Think about that, 12.5 watts per hour. You can grow all this. Fish-wise, you can use koi fish, you can use goldfish. I think koi, um, if you want to start out with the system, you can use goldfish to test out your, your water. Goldfish are so strong, they have more room for you to work with. You know, they, they, can, they, can, they can take a lot. So start out with goldfish. And you, once you feel more comfortable, then you can do whatever else you want to do after that. For me though, I start to raise koi. Because if you really think about koi, 
pound pound per pound, boy, you get so much more than compared to catfish or tilapia. Because if you can raise a koi from a, a fry to a six inch one, you can actually sell them for a higher price compared to a tilapia or a catfish. So for me, I'm not raising the fish for food, I'm actually raising them for as a hobby. Because pound per pound, koi fish are the best the best in the the uh, turn rate of your uh, money. Okay, so we, we move on. The reason you using you want to use um, goldfish because as I said, they're so strong and they can handle a lot that you take to it. Because I don't even the system. I don't even have a pH tester. I don't have a um, um, nit uh, nitrate and nitrite kit because um, I believe ev eventually once you run the system long enough the whole system will take care of itself they will put everything back to the way it is where you live so and I refill my system with just the tap uh, water for my house so what I use the only thing the only two things I add on to the system is this here and that would just remove the uh, uh, chlorine from my tap and it take about two three years for me to get this finish this whole container and all it does is whenever I, I um, add in more I, I add more tap uh, water I add a small scoop of this into uh, the system and that would that would do it from time to time when your leaf turn um, uh, yellow it's not as as green as, as can get you add on some um, chelated iron so these are chelated iron all the chelated iron is going to do is going to add iron to your system because when you grow your vegetables in the soil your soil have iron here you're using just rocks that's why you have to add on more iron to the system so two things the only two things I'll add on is this here when I add in more tap water and this here whenever my leaf turn yellow as for the the bio filter as all as for this here I don't use any clay ball at all because those clay balls yes they are nice but they are very expensive what I use is this small rocks here and the rocks are cheap to buy you can buy a whole ton or you can buy small bags but they are a lot cheaper yes they are heavier but they are a lot cheaper and they will do just fine and some people say, hey, what if the rocks you use will make your water more acidic or more uh, basic? Um, as long as you clean those rocks and you work, you put in the system and you run the system, eventually your water will become the pH of what, what it is where you live. So I believe that eventually the system will take care of itself. So we got the pump, we got the, um, the stand, stand pipe. We got the, the bed, the grow grow bed. We got the rocks. What else do we need to go to go through? We got the fish. Oh, as for plants, for plants wise, you can plant whatever you want to grow. Uh, most of my stuff in here are herbs and mints because they are they grow really well in the system. I grow tomatoes. I grow uh, bell pepper. I grow all kinds of stuff. But I like to grow stuff that. I can harvest over and over and over again. What's the point of growing something then you know eventually you have to to plant a new one. So like this um this here here I eat the tip and then you know a few few weeks later a few days later actually it will grow some more. All this here are mints that I can eat, I can cut and then it'll grow back again. So that's the whole thing about this system here. It's like once I grow something, I can just use eat it over and over and over again. That, that will feed my whole, I mean, not my, my family, but my brother, my sister, my mom. I mean, they'll feed everybody with mitts. Enough mitts for me to last for a long, more time. So, so go through this. Uh, so, a uh, recap. If you really, you don't really even need a um, uh, fil uh, filter for it. If you just want to be simple, you just a pump, run through the bed, and that's it. This will be your uh, filter. But if you want to do, you know, make your water cleaner and better, then you have to add on an extra 
fil uh, filter. The filter I have here is are as simple as this can get to. This here is six inch pot that run all the way down. This here are caps. So your water will go all the way down, okay? And then it will have to go up. When it go up though, this cap there will trap all the fish waste. And then once in a while, I will turn the ball valve here and out and then it will lead into this um, container here and I will you know, drain, I will clean out my uh, fish waste and it will come to here and then once it comes to here I will you know feed my my plants so nothing go go to waste in this system so again keep it simple just keep it simple don't make it hard on your saw um, as long as you have a grow bed you have a system where your water would drain and fill, drain and fill, and that's all you need, okay? So if you guys have any questions, you just let me know, and then I'll be happy to answer. So this is about Aquaponic 101. Thank you guys. Bye.